Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'll be repairing this Forza NT501 UPS. The issue with it is that there was a power voltage and the UPS failed to turn on afterwards. So I'm going to check to see what is wrong with it and hopefully I'll be able to repair it. So the first thing I'm going to do is to um, apply some power to it and see what's, what happened. So there is no power, no sound. Because normally with these UPS, uh, when you press the power button, you will hear some sound. I'm not hearing any sound in at all. So I'm going to open it and see what's happening inside. So this UPS has four screws, one, two, three, four, four screws. inside looks so this is the battery this is a transformer and this is the inverter circuit so this is where everything happens where it converts the DC voltage into AC voltage So first thing that I'm seeing right off the bat is that the battery looks a bit swollen. So I'm going to test it. I'm going to test it and see what's happening. The battery. The battery. So this uses a 12 volt 4.5 amp hour battery. You can see. And if you look at it, you can see some ridges. Looks looks a bit swollen. I'm going to test it. Um, this battery have a little power in it. It's showing 5.43 volts, which is very low. And if you can see it, right, let me show you exactly what it is showing. Alright, so seem as if this issue could be the battery. I'm going to take a closer look at the circuit to see if there's anything anything look up anything look out of the, the norm. Circuit. Circuit looks good. Not seeing any burn spots or anything like that. Seen anything like that? Connectors are intact. Not seen anything. The wires are intact. Let's make sure that power is reaching it. I'm going to do a continuity test. Let's see if there's anything with the power, power cable. So that okay, that is working out okay. here. So that is OK. 
Okay. cable is okay so the issue is not the power cable so the next thing that I'm going to do I'm going to apply some power to this and see what happened I'm going to try this this battery here I have another battery this one is much larger this is um 12 volt 7 milliamp so this one is much larger than this so I'm going to try this one to see I think this battery might need some charging but I'm going to try it and see So let me see this. If you look right here, I'm getting power. See, I'm getting power right here. So I'm getting power now. So we're going to do a test. Let's see if I'm able to power this light. Okay, good. See? So I'm able to power. So I'm able to power. So the UPS is actually working. So the issue, based on what I'm seeing now, the issue is is that the battery has gone bad. So that would would have to be replaced. So well this was a this was an easier fix than what I anticipated. So all I need to do is to replace this battery. Just need to replace this battery. That's all I need to do. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And I'll be doing more videos like this. So subscribe. Thank you.